Joe Malay in Weezer, Idaho, a.k.a. 0020, the golf nut of the year, before you were the president, before I was vice president, before you voted for Obama. I heard you're not doing well, so we're going to have things change up. We're going to cheer you up a little bit. I heard this joke the other day. This old guy from Italia comes up there, and he's on his deathbed. He calls his grandson. He comes in there. He says, hey, grandson, come over here. I got something for you. He says, what do you got, Grandpa? He says, I got this 38 revolver gold-plated gun. He says, I'm going to give it to you. And Luigi says, uh, Grandpa, I don't like guns. You know that one? Well, you give me a Rolex to remember you by. Grandpa comes up in there and he says, Hey, Luigi, well, one of these days you're going to be owning a business. You're going to be running a company. You're going to have a gorgeous wife and a couple of Bambitos. You're going to come home and your wife's going to be in bed with another man. What are you going to do? Pull out the Rolex and say, Time's up? Anyway, your time isn't up and neither is mine. So things are going good here in Weezer, Idaho. I kind of got a part-time job. I'm doing the superintendent's job. But if you get to town, I'll take some time off, which I don't work all the time. I only work in the morning. So we got time to do that with you. Also, I heard a joke about you and these seniors. Uh, you know, they're playing this new game, Red Rover, Red Rover. The nurse said bend over. So if you're in the hospital, you see this, you hear this. Don't do it. Don't hear it every day because it'll get you. So... Uh, then I was over at Cliffs, and he's walking around. I'm running out of tape, Joe. I'm so, yeah, we're out of time. I'm we're out of time. Okay. <laughs>